Species 7 here, and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Farm Sim 15. Sorry about that, I had to move my mic. And Pleasant Valley. So, uh, I've had to advance time another day, mainly for the reason that uh, I'm trying to get the. Uh... Oh, well, you suck, you don't pick up. Uh... Hmm. It doesn't pick up the windrows that are already here. Oh well. Um, I'm trying to get enough cement produced to get that second factory. Unfortunately, <laughs> our uh, Lafarge Cement Company only produces about uh, eight nine percent per complete day, um, and. Well, as I'm sure you're all aware, fast-forwarding time is fine, except it fast-forwards everything. Which means, you know, my cows are now out of grass. Um, I believe they're also out of water. And things like that. So, by the time I get around to doing all of those, another day will have passed. <laughs> so, yeah, it's a bit of a cycle. I'm also, I'm just keeping an eye there on and now it's gone oh because i've only got four picked okay but uh i have the new cat trailers and one of those kenworth trucks out at the uh, derpy digger site being filled with gravel but again thanks to for some reason the uh, map authors decide that the uh, shovels out there only hold like 3,000, 4,000 liter, whatever the heck it is. It takes a good half hour of real time to fill the bloody things. So, and I've tried conveyors and they don't work there. The uh, you can only the pickup spot is right under the shovel. So, and it's the only one on those whole pile that they sit on. So not good. Because our rice field is once again underwater. And, uh, it, weirdly enough, doesn't really seem to be doing the crops any harm, as it were, but, uh, I'm sure it's not doing it any good. <laughs> and 200,000, 200 something plus, actually, thousand liters of gravel were gone in less than a night. So I don't know what the heck the uh, the ratios again there were worked out or why they were worked out that you require that much. But uh, yeah, we're easily looking at a million liters of gravel to get through a harvest. So I did, however, manage to finish um, fertilizing the rice field. We have used up all of our manure, we have used up all of our slurry, and then it took another tank and a half of artificial fertilizer to finish the rest of it. So, yeah, not, uh, but what I actually did was I picked up a second dolly and a second spreader, and uh, thankfully, because there's a trailer hitch on the back of the Kenworth, I was able to pull a second dolly out, so I didn't have to make the trip back again. But, fertilizer is something we're going to have to deal with fairly soon, as I believe seed is. Because I assumed since every other silo system on the map shares that the seeds did too, they don't. So, a farm that we're never going to use currently has who knows how many thousand liters of processed seeds sitting there. So I'll basically have to take a trailer over and unload that one. But I do believe there's probably some ready at park seeds as well. So. Alright, well this is uh, slow process, but we are getting some grass. This is just a really big capacity on this thing. So you can see 30% at 26,000. So I believe it holds 80 or something. So, yeah. It's an older mod, but still seems to work on the new patches and everything. And it's a lot, uh, 
a lot quicker than going through with the big crone and then having to uh, chase it down with a tractor and trailer afterwards. I'm once again harvesting cotton. Um, and, oh, and it's full. I'll have to deal with that. The potatoes that we planted in the upper field I've also just started harvesting, and apparently the trailer's full. Or the, uh, the harvester's full. And this is either coffee or onions beside us. I don't remember. One of these two fields I planted onions, the other one I planted coffee. Um, by two fields, the other one is the one up on the, the hill right below our parking lot area there. So, but as I haven't actually seen either crop in Farm Sim, I'm not sure what, because uh, quite frankly, that doesn't look like either coffee or onions as I've seen them in real life. But, hey, I don't know how they're represented in Farm Sim, so I don't know which is which. And the mini-map, or not the mini-map, the uh, information map that tells you what crops are in what fields doesn't quite do it. So, if we uh, go here... Do, 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 do. Yeah, see, not everything is listed. And there is, yes, only one page of fruit types, so... Um, yeah, not everything is listed, including uh, coffee and, well, as you can see, onions, etc. So, hard to say. That's, uh, that's not really telling me what's going on. It'll tell me, like, I know that's a field of sunflowers there, not just from looking at it, but it does tell me on the map that it is a field of sunflowers. So, we're good there. Now, I'm not going to fill this up this time. I just, uh, I know for a fact that our cows are out of grass. There's a trailer full of grass sitting out of the sheep. So if they happen to be out, I guess I can go right up alongside here. Um, if they are actually out of grass, we just need to tip the trailer. So, but this would certainly do it for the cows. I'll go up to the end of the row and then we'll just drive down the hill. Yeah, this is a, what the heck is it called? The Crone Big L, I think? L500? So, yeah. Uh, available on Mod Hoster and a few other places. But it's not a great mod in so much as it's not terribly believable. I mean, I could see them building a machine like this, but, I mean, capacity-wise, yeah. But the other unit that I had sitting there, the Case IH mower, uh, unfortunately, only, only holds 30,000. And on this particular map, I'm learning very quickly that what you want is everything that is the fastest, the biggest, and the fattest. So, yeah. And then it's suitable to the map. And that should pretty much be plenty, plenty. head down to the field of cow. I think I might even have some grass stored down there now that I think about it, silly bugger. But I guess I will have to use the forage wagon to get this up or let it go to waste. I know with the normal mowers, they will actually pick the uh, mown grass up. You know, like if I was to go over that with a regular set of mowers, it would move those lines because it would also pick the... Uh, the windrow up and move it around. Well, at least this thing's got a reasonable highway speed to it. Let's pull those up so we fit through the door a little better. Hey, girls. Ooh, look, we're starting to get a little bit of poop back. Oh, that's right, because I advanced the clock. Ooh, look at these troughs. Ooh, they're both empty. Oh, my God. Not good, not good. Not good at all. Are they going to take it all? Ooh-wee. Holy. Yeah, 
Yes, indeed, they are. Wow. Oh well, that's okay. That is quite alright. Because you know what? There's lots of grass to mow. <laughs> lots and lots and lots of grass to mow. Alright, let's uh, go somewhere else. Not there, maybe. Although, you get right down to it, that's probably a darn good place to go. Yeah, as you can see, we're down to uh, mere drops of both seed and fertilizer. So, next round of seeding and ferting is going to rely on the fact that I do believe I have been hauling products uh, out to both of those facilities. I know I just ran some straw out to the composter, and I believe I can use that. If not, we've also got a whack of silage. So it was suggested that with all of this cotton we're producing that I should just sell it and then maybe I wouldn't have to use the money cheat so much. And uh, it's a really good point. The only reason I haven't actually been just simply selling crops is because I don't want to move on to whatever our next factory project is, only to find out that that's what it requires. And, oh, right, you need emptied as well. Wow, you're doing really well on this field. Yeah, you're on the wrong side. But, uh, so yeah, to a degree, and at least until we've got a little bit of everything, I've been trying not to sell it off. But, uh, I'd imagine at some point that's exactly what we're going to do. I mean, I think we've pretty much settled in on the equipment. If I have any more of the Volvo trucks, I may sell those off to help, uh, pay the costs for a couple of new, those new cap trailers. I've got a couple of the Kenworth trucks for every Volvo we saw. We can buy two Kenworths. So. <laughs> uh, gravel, ooh, 99% to 347,000. I'm hoping that 350k won't go as quick as... Uh, wow, that's a big capacity picker. That sucker filled the trailer. Oh, come on. <laughs> uh, I bet I scared him, boy. Up we go. And, let me guess, just like the sugar beets, we dump it into the grain elevator, right? Hmm. Easy beats questionable. Yep, there we go. And... Da, 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 we can add potatoes to the list. Where are we here? I don't see them. Corn, barley, canola, wheat, millet, cotton, sorghum, sunflower, and sugar beet. Soybean, coffee, rice, onion, carrot. Oh, there they are, potatoes right up there. 62,000 liters. We've already got more potatoes than carrots. We'll have to do another field of carrots at some point. In fact, maybe that's what we'll do right here in this potato field. Now, you tatoed, can you cotton? Do you cotton to picking something else up? Alrighty, here we go. Ah, now you can see our great flooded rice field off in the distance. Oh, man. Oh, come on. Why the heck would it do that empty? I don't think I even turned it. It's these trailers. Pretty sure. Because it does it with all the tractors. So. Alrighty, come on. I mean, we do have other choices. I didn't uh, hook it up with one of the cap trailers, because I'm not sure if perhaps uh, if they'll take cotton. So, I suppose it's easy enough to tell. Just simply uh, take one of these uh, down and trade it in. I have a few of them. And then next time around, try it. If not, I'll just grab one of the other ones of these out of the lock up above. Because, yeah, we certainly do have a lot of cotton. Um, what does cotton sell for? It sells for... Bibbidi, bibbidi, bibbidi. Not there. There we are. Cotton. 
1357 a ton, the GPC. Ooh, 15. Thousand, uh, that's crap. 13, 11, 1140. So it looks like um, if we were to sell it, the grain elevator is our best, uh, bestest buyer. Hmm. Okay. Good to know. It is not an outstandingly, hopefully, pricey crop. So let's try this and look for barley new. No, any non-earth fruits? No. Wool, hemp, and cotton. FM Textiles takes cotton. And... Campbell's just says many ingredients. Yeah. Well, I know, uh, I would imagine it's one of the things at the fairgrounds, since I believe they take just about everything. But, uh, no, it looks like it only has the one, uh, the one usable there. And that's the uh, textile. Huh. Alright, well, good to know. So we certainly don't uh, need to worry about hanging on to the quarter million liter that we currently have. Besides, it, uh, I guess it takes a long time, though, doesn't it? See, this stuff grows overnight, literally. If I, uh, re if I fertilize this and skip time, tomorrow morning there'll be another crop there to take down. You know, whereas something like hemp that's selling for four times as much, for some reason takes five or six times as long, which they really should have done that a little different. Because, uh, it's one of the reasons hemp is such a wonderful product is because of its really fast growing time compared to a lot of things. Alrighty. Okay. Now everybody's working again. That's not such a panic. Um, let's look. We up. We up. Hey, look, our trees are growing. Aren't they cute? <laughs> They're almost as tall as the Ponzi. But that's all still running and doesn't require much service yet. That's the wrong one. This is absolutely full and does need to be emptied. Otherwise, our main tank will just end up filling. Oh, baby. Probably the uh, quicker to simply buy two of the towable trailers and uh, Yeah, this is going to take a while, I'll tell you what. I'll uh, do that off camera. <laughs> uh, he's waiting for one of these two fields to come up a ripe a rooney. So we're going to have to take them both down when we do the rice. I think we'll need both of our uh, harvesters. You're almost ready again. You have four. You can take four more. 9% uh, after advancing one full day. Oh, and it's out of water again. So it takes a full trailer of water to produce that tiny little bit of uh, cement. It's hardly fair. Um, I'm going to quickly take this Kenworth. This could hurt. Woo. <laughs> and 145 Ks, he goes whistling by him. Uh oh. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, no problem. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. 
I forgot where I was going. You guys didn't see that, eh? <laughs> Little it's a bitsy accidenty, no? <laughs> yeah, I missed it good. I knew it. Alright, so let's go grab you a water tanker. Get the cement factory up and running. Potatoes are full again. Well, we knew that was going to happen. So we're going to get about 150,000 uh, liter off that particular field locators. That's not a bad start. Should maybe do it twice just to make sure we've got lots. Uh huh. Ah. We're going to cheat and cut across this field. We're never going to buy it. Nobody else owns it. What the heck, right? Well, not to say we're never going to buy it. Apparently there's uh, still a few things we don't have. Like, it looks like some of the things are just simply placeable. Like the uh, pig masts and stuff like that. They're not a walk-up-to-and-buy kind of thing. They seem to be in our placeables folder. So, we'll see how all that works if we see how all that works. I get a feeling by the time this place produces enough cement for me to get the next factory up and running. Oh, come on that uh, that uh, FS-17 will be out <laughs> alright that's all I wanted to do with you I'm still trying to get my way to you there you are look at this mess okay pleasant by the airport so how come there's a runway down by the speedway if that's the airport Hmm. Oh. Mine is not to question why, mine is just to work till I die. Alright. Now, uh... That's that part. Oh, that's our rice field over there. Okay. I was gonna say that's sort of, uh... Sort of right, but not quite. Woohoo! <laughs> That's a lot of gravel that should get us through a whole day, maybe. Maybe. Funny how you have so little steerage at that speed. <laughs> okay, here we go. Guys, you can see the field is completely underwater yet again. Well, 350,000 liters. That had better get us through a day or two, I tell you. Alright, I'm going to uh, run her back over there. And next time around, this should be ready to harvest. So, until then, guys, hope you enjoyed the episode. The, uh, oh, now, 
at some point you guys are going to look at these and go, hey, could we have the link for those? Now, they were given to me by one of the viewers. Well, actually, that's wrong. In fact, the truck was. The uh, trailers were actually given to another of our viewers by one of our viewers. But, um... The truck wasn't that bad. Those cat trailers... Now, both, both the truck and the trailers are from a legitimate site, but of course, unfortunately, um, that site does redirect you to uploaded dot. I hate your freaking guts. So, um, the truck I got on the first try, and by that I mean when I closed the malware, spyware, crapware pages that it was loading, uh, lo and behold, it did download the truck. Um, the trailers? No. I had to chase the link, and I kid you not, seven times. I.e., go to, you know, click the link, it would take you to the uploaded.net, you'd click the download file, it would load up a page of malware, and then nothing would happen. You know, you could click the file again, you could click whatever seemed appropriate, and all it would do is either nothing, or load up yet another page of crap advertisement malware. So you'd, I'd close all those out, go back to the original link, click it again, and like I said, it took seven times before it finally... Um, with, it did, of course, load a, a page of advertising crap, but then the download also appeared and started downloading the trailers. So... <clears throat> I don't know at this point that the link will be in the description because I don't I don't like putting those links in to be completely honest with you I really don't I mean yeah these cat trailers are nice for this map because I haven't found anything with this capacity that will take gravel um, I don't know if they'll take anything else this is the only thing I put in them is gravel but do I really want to infect a bunch of people's computers because they followed my link to where they get these things so if anyone knows of a good link to get these, please let me know down in the comments. All right, so that we can link these fine trailers for you guys. Because if you're playing this map, you're going to want these trailers. Simply put, you're just going to. So there you go. So we'll fill this up a second time. The rice is nowhere near ready to harvest, of course. Um, the grass, dude, you're fine. You guys, I suppose I could give you a trailer too, eh? Then we could have one for cotton and one for taters. Seeing as I think the other one's still got 55,000 liter of cotton in it. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Well, let's uh, let's go down the hill. Oh, we'd need a dolly too, wouldn't we? Well, that's not a big deal, is it? No, we got 276k, and when this is gone, we'll have to sell some crops because we have blown through our grandma's inheritance here. So, um, certainly sell off one or two of those. I think we have four of them. And I certainly don't use four at a time, so might be a thought. Um, but what we do want is ticker select and a cat tipper. Doesn't seem to be a difference between them. So, uh, we'll buy that. Okay. And then if we go to dollies, we'll find we have a cat dolly. So we'll buy that as well. Alright. Do 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 do, you do have a weight. Good for you. I've actually been using that little John Deere, the tracked one, for doing this sort of thing for the most part. Sticking trailers and things together. Like when I stuck the two, uh, the other two semi-trailers, because this dolly, it, it seems to maneuver fine behind the tractor, but boy, it didn't maneuver worth a darn behind the truck. Alright, there we go. Looks good. They're nice models. Nice mods. I think this the entire cat pack is available on a few different sites. Like I think even if you go to uh, Mod Hub, 
and admittedly that site's not exactly the most legitimate of sites, but um, I believe if you go there, they've got the entire cat fleet type mod, you know, rebuilt from FS13, and it has the trailers, it might even have a truck to pull them, as well as a few other bits of gear. So, let's see how it is on collecting potatoes, shall we? And if it works there, we may start replacing those green trailers, right, Ricky Ticky? Because I'm not fond of them. They don't work, they don't react well. You're forever... See, here I'm turning nice, and I'm not getting the jackknifey nasties. So, if you take it, and you do, beautiful, well, there you go. I think these will be replacing. Um, oh, not yet, because the other one is full, and you don't get to choose which one you actually sell. So, <laughs> yeah, slow unload, dude, come on. Right on. All right, well, I'm going to unload this guy. I'm going to unload that guy. And uh, like I say, hopefully next time around, our rice fields will be ready for harvest. Thanks for dropping by, guys. Hit the like button if you would on your way out. If you haven't subscribed already, good time, too. Then you'll know what's coming up and what's there. And uh, other than that, well, it's been Species 7 for Farm Sim 15 here in Pleasant Valley. Take care of each other, folks, and ciao for now.